known to be the home of the original La Paz Batsoy. Who would not know Batsoy? Having distinct flavors that lingers in your mouth as you drown yourselves into this steamy wonder surely made this a must-try when you are on this side of the country. For the love of food, one has to find the best succulent taste that would suit one's palate. Ramen is a staple product of Japan, which has their own style preference which leaves food enthusiasts crave for more. Ever have the feeling of being torn between two different countries? Not for vacation, but for the food that you're about to eat. Like for example, you don't know which to pick, a bowl of batoy or a bowl of ramen. So what I suggest is that you join me and get your passports ready because we are going to be flying from Japan all the way back here to the Philippines and we are going to be checking out the newly opened Japanese restaurant here in Iloilo City. This is Teddy and you're watching Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste only here on the Amazing Planet channel. So let's go and check it out. Revolution is very in nowadays and a fusion of different kinds of cuisines in one plate is something that you need to look out for and we are going to be joined here by Mr. Joey Garcia the head of marketing operations of Oishi Batsoy. Actually Batsoy started in Iloilo Ilo, in yes. probably 1930s mm -hmm. and Oishi Batsoy actually the founder Mr. Benji Garcia, our boss. He, uh, he started as a dishwasher in a small oh, Japanese wow. restaurant back in the 1970s. Eventually, the boss, Mr. Sasaki, uh, gave him a break and he was sent to Japan to study culinary. Wow. And then, oh, so he started yes. here in the Philippines? Yes, yes, he started in the dish Philippines. Washer. Dishwasher. So he climbed up the ramp? Yes, definitely. Right. And then upon coming back in the Philippines, he was the one training other chef, even wow. Japanese national. Yes, and then after, yes, 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 yes. Nice. And then after a few years, he resigned in that that company, and then he decided to put up a uh, a karinderia. So Uishi Batsoy. How Uishi did Batsoy. You come up with he really, he really wanted. He loves uh, Batsoy. One time, he he wanted. He he, he thinks of uh, why not converting the Batsoy uh, into a something uh, original dish that he really loves. And then when he tasted the the, the creation, wow. Siyempre, Japanese siya. Ah, matagal na siya nag, nag uh, japan He exclaimed, Uwishi! Uh, Sabi niya, kandang pangalan, no? So, Uwishi Batsoy. Uwishi Batsoy. And then, he told me, Joey, I, 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 I have a new concept of restaurant. Right. We can call it Uwishi Batsoy. No one could represent the brand other than uh, my, my dad. Yes, of course. Because he's a chef. And usually, and a chef. Familiar with yes, the yes, yes. Business. Yes. So, go, it's, it's his high time to be the face of the brand. And of course, what he did to Batsoy, he wants to make it health, healthy uh, version. Uh, why not make Batsoy healthy instead? You're back here with me, Teddy, on Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste, and we're still here at Uishi Batsoy, and we are going to be joined by Miss Cassandra Garcia, and also she is one of the daughters of Chef Benji Garcia, and basically, she's going to be introducing to us her beloved father. He's more popular known as Chef Benji-san. Uh, my father started 1977 as a, as a dishwasher. Wow. Then, yeah. Then he was trained by his manager, after that, he was brought to Japan by his, by, by the owner of the restaurant. He worked there for 20 years. Wow, 20 years in Japan. Yeah, so that's why he learned how to prepare ramen. 
how to make gyoza. Then he realized that, he, oh, bakit hindi ako mag-start ng restaurant oh, ng okay. sarili ko. Then, so he got inspired he with got inspired. everything that he knows. Yeah. First, he, he asked my kuya, uh, may naisip siyang concept. He named it Uishi Bachoy, sabi niya. Nak, uh, meron akong naisip na concept, Uishi Bachoy. Then my kuya said, parang hesitant at first. Okay. <laughs> why bachoy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's the same bachoy? question that popped up to my head. Like, Uishi and bachoy. Like, yeah. <laughs> When my kuya said, sabi niya, sige na nga. <laughs> sige Try na. Try natin. <laughs> Alright. Your dad's familiar with Japanese food. Food then. And at the same time. At, at the same time, my mother from here. Is so, from here, so familiar then with bachoy. Familiar then. Then, naisip niya bachoy, so innovation. Mm. Sabi niya, why not Japanese and bachoy? Nice. Very yeah, nice concept. Then, mm -mm. Uh -huh. So, ayun na, nag-iisip na siya ng concept. So, first, yung regular bachoy na may chicharon may but instead of pork pork slices uh, ra, yes uh, he made shashu shashu yeah, is a yeah. Japanese term for roast <laughs> pork yeah. okay so parang ganon so basically miso that's miso. why we should miso bachoy yeah. so it's miso soup together with, with the, the Japanese, Japanese egg noodles egg noodles instead of um, they call it caldo here I think mm -hmm. caldo, oh, caldo from Iloilo All right. so instead of caldo they use um, miso. Miso paste. Yeah. Then, naisip niya yung mga more innovation like moringa, spicy miso, and and the super bachoy. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So basically, that's how Wishy Bachoy started. And of course, we knew how the history or where did Chef Benji san started. Okay, how he started as a chef and he was trained in Japan and everything else and basically everything is history okay. and now we have Oishi Bacho, his very own genius creation. Okay, we'll be seeing him in a little while as he is going to show us how to prepare his very famous Oishi Miso Bacho. The knowledge on making delicious ramen soup made Chef Benji-san realize his dream. Kaya dahil dito nanggaling ang original bachoy, pag tinanggap nila, ibig sabihin, tatanggapin na sa lahat. So, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ha, lalo na yung mga bisita rito sa pagpunta nyo at pakikinig. Salamat po! Uwishi Bachoy has opened its doors for everyone to have a taste of its gastronomic dishes. Located at the ground floor of SM City New Wing, it is now accessible for all you food lovers out there. the gyoza and it reminds me of Japan talaga. Aside from the Uishiba Choi, which is the uh, flagship dish of Uishiba Choi, I like its California maki because it's really my favorite. The taste of Uishiba Choi's California maki is really authentic so I really like its authenticity. You are here with me, Teddy, and you're watching Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste. And of course, we are going to be joined by the owner himself, Chef Benji Garcia, or more popularly known as Chef Benji San. Hi, okay. good afternoon, Chef. Good afternoon. Uh, let's talk about all your specialty okay. dishes. We have here uh, three kinds of bad choy. Okay. This one, uh, we call it Oisi Miso Bad Choy. And the other one, we call it Moringa Bachoy. Okay, Moringa, Moringa Bachoy. Or, or uh, Malungay Bachoy. And the other one is Sipods Miso Bachoy. This is your Uishi Miso Bachoy, and it's your flagship yes. noodle uh, soup yes. here inside yeah. Uishi Bachoy. So, what's it about? We are using the same stock, all okay. uh, Tongkucho stock. It takes 10 hours to 18 hours 
boiling Boil. the salt. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the taste mm -hmm. and the flavors yes. would always would really and, come and, out. And we are using uh, egg noodle. No? So it's an authentic uh, Japanese yes, recipe. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. a Japanese recipe. And also, uh, we are using uh, miso in Japanese. Miso, yes. It makes uh, very okay. healthy ingredients. So your soup stock, you mm. add the miso paste. Yes, the miso paste. We it. are using mis miso paste. And we, we mix it with peanuts, garlic, ginger, and wow. sesame oil. That and other, makes it really uh, healthy yeah, yes, because yes, of very the healthy. other ingredients that are included. In and most of all, uh, we are using uh, black mayo or black mm. garlic oil. There are so many health benefits in our body. Okay. Also, yeah. the, the moringa, the moringa, of which course. is the, malu the malunggay. Okay. We make it a malunggay sauce to add also the taste and to add also the health benefit. Same soup stock? Yes, okay. but instead of the miso, we use okay. malunggay. All right, mm. so you can actually pick between the two, whether you want the miso paste or the malunggay yes. sauce. To add the variety, uh, we use also seafoods. We had shrimp, squid, Seafood. seafood, tonkotsu. Okay, seafood, but tonkotsu, soy. but soy. soy. Yeah. You can use miso instead of uh, tonkotsu sauce. Oh, okay. Uh, so you, we can call it uh, seafood, miso, but choy. Okay. And to add more, mm. uh, instead of using uh, regular meat, we, we, uh, we add or we use uh, roast pork. Oh, roast mm. pork. Well, in Japanese, chashu. Chashu. Yeah. They add chashu and not just the regular pork, it's roasted pork. Okay, together with the liver and yes, all no. the usual ingredients of yes, sir, our yes. bat choy. Okay, so how about this dish, uh, Chef Benji-san? The same as the katsudon. It differs only in the in the sauce. Mm. Uh, Oishi bat choy katsudon sauce. Oh, so it's a very special yes. and very authentic sauce that you personally make. Yes. Okay, so you can't find um, it anywhere. It is personally made personally genuinely invented mm -hmm. by Chef Benji-san, yes, the sauce yes. of the katsudon. Okay, and this one, Chef Benji-san? Yes, the, the, this one uh, is the dumpling or the gyoza. Which, as um, you've told me, is mm. best paired with your uh, bat choy. Yes, uh, when you eat bat choy, it's best uh, together with the gyoza. So there you have it. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there who's watching right now, you can see here that these are just some of the best sellers that they have here at Uishi Batshoi. But if you want to find out some more, I'm inviting you to please do check out and visit so you can have a lot more of gastronomic experience only here at Uishi Batshoi. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. This ramen master is taking his skills back to his country. Okay, so we're here inside the kitchen of Oishi Batsoi, and of course, we are going to be joined by Chef Benji San himself. I want to welcome everybody first. Kerisai Mase! Okay. Kerisai Mase, it means yes. welcome, welcome in welcome. Japanese. Please come and eat to our restaurant. <laughs> and we're going to learn how to prepare their very famous Oishi Miso Ramen Batsoi. Yes. Alright. I want to introduce first the four main ingredients. This one is the miso. Uh, this is not uh, just a plain miso. This is uh, roast pork, and this is the liver, teriyaki mm -hmm. liver. Mm -hmm. And the, the most important is the soup stock. Soup oh. stock. And the most of all, right. the ramen, the noodle. Uh, shall I uh, start? So first is you're going to uh, roast pork. Okay. Saute. 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 Then, a little onion with a little ground pork. You see? Soup. You see? The python soup. In Japanese, uh, python. White soup. Okay. Nice. After this, we add, add miso. Miso paste. Yes. One more spoon. So that's your, the soup base? Yeah, this is the soup stock. No. See? Mm. It's like the, the usual miso. Oh, yes, yeah. 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 But, this is the noodles. Oh, okay. This is the noodles. Yeah, nice. So it's very authentic. So we add the black garlic oil. Oh, okay. We add the Naruto. 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 Press egg. Okay? 
Teriyaki liver. Teriyaki liver. Teriyaki liver? Yes. Oh, so you marinated in, of, yes, uh, in teriyaki. Like assume, teriyaki sauce. Yes. So. Yes, you see? Wow. And of course, this one is... This is the roast pork. Thin slices yes. of chashu or roasted pork. You see? Wow. That is amazing. Yes. These leaves are just basically spring onions. Yeah, the spring onions. That's all. Wow. That's a masterpiece right there. Yeah. <laughs> the epic chicharon. Chicharon. Yes. All right. Nice. Here you go, guys. As you can see, we have here now huh? the very genius creation of Chef Benji San, the Uwishi Miso Ramen Bacha. Yes. Taste the best of both worlds in one sitting and in one bowl. Uwishi Bachoy nailed it. When we return, we are going to have Uwishi Bachoy's Gomoku Umani. Stay tuned on Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste. Behind the entirely amazing taste with my sensei, Chef Benji san, as we take on the Gumoku Omani. This restaurant is really a place for everyone to eat. Aside from its cool interiors, the ambience of the restaurant is perfect for dining. Here in front of us, their specialty gomoko omani. It's their seafood chop soy, of course, with a little bit of Japanese taste. Okay, we have tonkotsu sauce and a little bit of a kiko mat. I am still amazed and in awe on how these dishes are being prepared to us by Chef Benji San. And we'll have just a little bit of the sesame oil here and there. And then we are ready to plate. All right. Amazing. Oh, you see the squid? Yes. It's not just seafood that you add there. You also have a little bit of the liver yes. and chashu. Top it with the chashu and the liver strips. Also add a little bit of the egg. Who needs to travel far when you can have an access to different flavors all at once right in front of your very eyes? I'll tell you why. As you can see, Chef Benji San is showing us how to prepare their gyoza. So you have a dough and then you wrap the gyoza mixture in the dough. What I really like with what you're doing is yung years of experience because parang by taste so it's like our typical empanada basically dumpling gyoza means dumpling and then you pinch it a little bit that's amazing galing ang bilis 30 years experience and now he's going to show us how he's going to cook these gyozas okay I think we are ready now okay medium fire lang then we'll have a little bit of the oil you add the water it's just gonna steam it's gonna simmer and boil 5 to 10 minutes after steaming, of course, we have to fry the gyoza in sesame oil. The bottom part should be a little brown and it's completely fried. So I'm inviting everyone to please dine here at Oishiba Chai and taste it along good dish with the trees and it's it's a really good place to dine in. I'm inviting everyone to, to dine here at Oishi Bachoy, the well loved Bachoy with the Japanese taste. That was amazing. Guys and girls out there, if you're watching this, if you want Filipino authentic bachoy, and of course, Japanese authentic miso soup, there's no place like Uishi Bachoy. I am telling you, you have to drop by and visit this place 
because this is just totally amazing. And of course, we have here Chef Benji San, and he's also going to invite you to come visit his restaurant. Chef. Uh, I want to invite everybody to come and visit and, and taste our very own Oise Miso Bachoy. The well-loved bachoy with the Japanese twist. All right. Thank you so much, Chef. And this is Teddy. And catch me again on the next episode of Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste, only on the Amazing Planet channel. Arigato gozaimasu.